Hello and welcome to this episode of DTech. Today we're going to set up a desktop uh, environment uh, on NetBSD. So we're going to log in first as a normal user. And I am assuming that you've already installed a full installation. So you have all of the X-based uh, sets uh, installed. As well as you've already enabled binary package installation. Make sure you do that. Now we're going to get root here. And um, when we're talking about a graphical environment, you have two options. You have a window manager, and these are minimal and lighter weight in terms of RAM utilization. And you also have something called a desktop environment. A desktop environment is heavier when it comes to resources of your computer, your disk space, your RAM, and everything else. Th that can be a con and a pro. A window manager is lighter weight, but has less helpful applications with it. A desktop environment is heavier weight, but has more helpful applications with it. So keep that in mind. But what we're going to do is package in search. I'm going to start with rat poison. That's uh, something I like as a window manager here. There's also options uh, with Fluxbox here. Oops. There we go. I'm going to actually install both of them. And for now, I am just using window managers here. We're going to install both Fluxbox and Rat Poison. Say yes to the dialog here. And I will also point out that I'm going to additionally install Firefox. All right, now we're going to kick off that installation. So we're going to do package install Firefox real quick. And um, we're going to let this finish. And then we're going to start with the specific um, XOR configurations, okay? So I'll see you in a second. All right, now that the Firefox is done installing, before we move on with the XORG, um, you want to copy the file from user package examples, user package share examples, rc.d, dbus. This is the example boot script for dbus. We want to copy that into our system uh, boot directory, etsy rc.d and verify that it's there. All right. Now, all right, so after uh, we've copied the example dbus file to our boot directory, you want to go into etsy rc conf. You want to go to the bottom there and open a new line and type dbus equals yes in all caps there. And save that file. And now we can just do Etsy RCD dbus start. So then we'll move forward with the XORG configuration. Now, what we want to do from there is um, go back to a normal user and make sure you're in your home directory. Now, what we use is start x usually, the command start x. Well, that command has to know what to start. So what we do is we look for what we installed. So if I say, where is Fluxbox? Or where is Rat Poison? Um, you know, that's where they are, user package bin, and then the program name. You want to put a hidden file in your home directory called dot x init rc. And what we're going to do here, I want to run the Fluxbox window manager. So I'm going to say slash user package bin Fluxbox. And you just need that one line and save it. Make sure it's there. And with that line in there, if we run start x, from right from here, it will start up. But I'm going to pause here because sometimes if you have very specific graphics hardware that isn't supported or you have resolution problems or anything like that, this is also issues with keyboard and mouse, you are going to have to do sometimes a little bit of extra configuration. So to do that, um, let's go root again and we're going to go to slash root. We're going to do X space and then a switch dash configure. 
and this command prints out a default configuration into XORG comp new. And what I want you to understand from looking at this file is this is everything about your graphics hardware, your screen, your graphics card, as well as what input to that graphic environment this expects. So in this case, we have a mouse, we have a keyboard, we have a screen, and um, there's our font configuration. You can change your fonts if you need to. In this, for instance, this keyboard zero identifier, um, when Xorg is running, when you type a key on the keyboard, this is the driver that takes that event and links the event from Xorg to the kernel so it can speak to your GPU. And then that allows it to draw the graphic on the screen. So this process, as long as Xorg is running, um, takes effect. So if something is wrong with your keyboard in your input device section, you won't be able to use the keyboard when you're running Xorg. Same thing with your mouse. But um, th that is what what these configurations mean. So if you have more than one monitor, this is where you would tell Xorg about that monitor and things of that nature. And under device, the card zero is our graphics processing unit. And my computer here has a built-in one. Um, but this case it uses VMware. There's options like Intel, uh, Radeon, uh, AMD GPU. But there is a con with this. Unfortunately, with NetBSD and Xorg, some GPUs are just not supported at all, either because there's not enough work in their code base or because it's proprietary. And you can't, you literally can't see how the device works to be able to write code for it. So that's something you're going to have to think about when you're configuring this. But 90, I'm going to say 95% of the time, you don't have to do it this way. Um, but if you've made adjustments, move the name of the file to xorg.conf and copy that file to Etsy X11. So it should be under this path with your modifications, of course. Now, we don't need this, so we're going to remove those files. And if I go back to a normal user, and the X in that RC has the contents, if we just do start X, if everything is working, it should start up Fluxbox, because that's what we put in X in it RC. All right, and this is our Fluxbox window manager. Start it up. So now I'm also going to touch on the concept of login managers because I know a lot of people do like to just log in graphically as well. So before we do take a, a look at login managers, I want you to take a peek here at the top output. This is from the startx command and it just runs the window manager we told it to. You see this, the Fluxbox window manager is running with the UID of TTEC. And the X server is running as the user TTEC. So if this is compromised, if you're running Firefox and you get compromised, the if they jump into X, you're not going to have an issue where they have privileges of the root user. Now we're going to go and start up the login manager, and I want to show you the difference of why you may or may not want to use one. All right, so all I did was go into the Fluxbox menu and hit exit. You can also kill the pit of uh, Fluxbox or Xorg if you want. So with a, with a login manager, the first thing you want to do is put in Etsy RC Conf, and there's many different ones, but this is the built-in one in NetBSD. You want to do XDM equals yes, and just save that. But in the home directory here, the your home directory, Instead of doing an XInit RC file, you want to do an X session file. This is still a hidden file, but you want to make this file. And in this case, I'm going to use user package bin. Uh, well, we'll still use Fluxbox just for the example. And we'll save that. So now, if I go and get root, 
and we will start XDM. And uh, normally you would have rebooted and this would come up as part of the boot process. Now you have a login screen. So if we type our user, what happens is XDM reads that .x session file and finds out what we want it to start. So because we put Fluxbox in there, it will start Fluxbox. And there we go. All right, so this is with XDM. What I want you to know now is X runs as root because XDM will start up at, with root privileges. Fluxbox does still run as TTEC, but now we have a potential for being compromised. So that is the difference, and XDM is still running as root. You know, any, anything you have running as root that doesn't necessarily have to be can be a problem depending on how you look at it. And if you if you still want to run it as root and you don't care, that's fine too. There is no rule that says you have to, you know, not run anything as root. I mean, we know there's things that have to run as root. But um, that's how we uh, do this. And I'm going to just show you real quick. If you switch the file, um, you can get uh, XDM to start up another window manager. All right, so I uh, stopped Fluxbox the same way. So now in our home directory again, in X session, instead of having Fluxbox at the end there, we're going to put rat poison at the end. So if we run that and either reboot or just you know start it manually, if uh, if this starts up here in a second, and now if we log in with that same user, when it reads X session, it starts up rat poison. So this is the Oops. the rat poison window manager. A little bit different, but I actually prefer this a lot. But that, that's not the point. It's pretty interesting, though. So yeah, um, this is the, the difference. And regardless, this is the same problem. It's still running as root. My, my advice stands. That is how we set up Xorg on NetBSD and how you kind of customize it a little bit and everything. Uh, with all that, I'm Tyler with T-Tech. Thank you for viewing, and have a very nice day.